Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. And did you sleep at all last night? Oh, heck yeah. I slept till went to bed at 1045 and woke up at 1250 to take the dog out with the rain. Woke up. She woke up again at 355 right before four with it lightning a little bit in the rain. And then I slept the rest of the night. I, I wondered. Well, us filming today, I, I wondered if you slept at Well, all. let me just say, see all this? I packed up and back. Since Stephanie's coming back today, I didn't even, I started at 4 o'clock, and I got all the, I stayed busy until 9 o'clock, man. Gotcha. So, I, I'm really excited. I got my filming shirt on. I got my good luck hat, Red Sea hat on. I got my sweatshirt on, even though it's 100, and probably going to be 110. I'll, I'll still wear it. I just, right. I'm I'm actually excited about this shoot. I've, that's why I asked if you slept at all. Mm -hmm. I didn't sleep the night before last. For you excited about ready. the shoot too? I was a day early. <laughs> uh, let me just give y'all a quick update. Stephanie's dad's gonna be fine. It was a uh, stroke. Uh, good size. They said about the palm of his hand, which I don't know what that means because I'm not a doctor. I guess it affected that pump. much or something. Well, it's in here, but okay. I just, I don't, I'm not sure. Stephanie will tell me more, and I'll tell you. But he's gonna be fine. They're gonna keep him a couple more days. He's gonna come home tonight. So my days of uh, being a bachelor are over today. I think. Who knows? But I'm glad to hear that. I was gonna talk about this yesterday. Okay. And you have to, you did it on the show when we were down at the backyard about people just coming up to talk to you. And and I this really stems from my buddy John Embry telling me this. Okay. He said, Russell, I love y'all's place. He said, I do a lot of stuff, but me and my wife don't really go out that much. And, and not just to our place, but around. And I right. said, how come, John? And he went, every time I go somewhere, somebody will come up and talk to me. He said, I got no problem talking to them, but once they ask how I'm doing, they start telling me what's going on in their life. He said, and usually we're sitting around trying to have a drink or we're sitting around trying to eat. And I started processing that and started thinking about that. Why do people, if we're having dinner, would come up, hey man, how y'all doing? We're doing good. At that point, good to see you and leave. Instead of no, going, it's, well, I. Well, I am. Well, here's what me and the daughter, we're did. And I get to, and I and I think, and somebody had asked me and you both this question: How come y'all never tell us what you're doing, but on the show? Because we would have to tell it forty times a day. That is it. <clears throat> and I, I've I've really gotten bad, and I and I honestly feel bad that I'd be at the backyard and I'll be walking. Hey, Chris, what's up? And I just keep walking. Hey, man, good to see you. Because I know if I stop. It's 10 minutes. Yeah. That, and y'all are going to think I'm mean, but that is the one of the reasons I don't come down there at night. I do not enjoy myself. I can't come with Billy and Carmen or meet you and, and Brooks or meet Gerald and Sheila because somebody, something will happen, and I have not learned that method of yours of, hey, don't go worry about the smokehouse. They got it. They do it when you're not there all the time, so they don't need you. And the second is... I can't enjoy talking to you when this guy keeps telling me about the greatest movie he wants me to shoot for him. That is the beauty. That is the beauty of the VIP day. Uh, you're right. And you're backstage. Right. We yeah. got the gates up. You can stand back there and act like you don't see them. <laughs> I don't want to be mean. and I, I You don't. aren't being mean. It's just... I've heard we have a cool place. We do. And we keep doing new things to it. I agree. So I'm not saying we don't love the ideas. Yes, I agree. I'm not saying that at all. It's just we don't love all million of them. That's I just, all. I just if, if if this was mine, I'd change the menu, I'd do this. Okay, great. If man, let me tell you what you, what I would do. If here's an idea. I have a tree cutting deal. I want y'all <clears> to <throat> film me cutting trees. I think it'd be the funniest show. Oh, I'm like, can you just ask me? Can I say this? Do you have any 
mother freaking idea how tough it is with that small menu we have in a kitchen that's about this size. No, they don't. They don't. Maybe this, maybe that. Yeah. No, they don't. They do not have an idea of that. And that is the, you, you used to do this. Hey, don't complain and bitch unless you got a solution. That's amen. Because we've tried to come up with a solution. Yes. And we keep up. Yeah. So before you bitch, and I'm not saying at the backyard, I'm saying anywhere. Anywhere. At your job, at wherever. You know what? This copy machine comes out and hits the wall. I got an idea. Yeah. Why don't we change it and move it here and, yeah. where it doesn't hit the wall? Instead not of just go, it don't, it don't work that way. My favorite is, if I was the boss, here's what I'd do. Well, no, that's not true. Because if you was the boss, you'd work harder to be the boss. That's, that is the, the biggest thing that frustrates me is, and I understand now about, and we're not even close to the status of being a celebrity. I understand when they mean I'm sitting there eating and somebody comes up and wants to talk to me. Or take a picture. Or take a picture. The, 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 I, I, it's just like there's no, this puppy has enlightened my deal of no personal space. She walks over <laughs> everything we got, walks over Gracie, walks over Sadie, gets in my way. There's no personal space to where when I see Chris, Hey, man, how you doing? Doing all right? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. I'm gone. And I leave. I'm, I'm, I think people coming up to us has taught us how to not be that person. Totally anymore. agree. Totally <clears throat> agree. Man, I have God, not. Y'all, y'all need cameras. Y'all need cameras over every register. You mean like that one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Look around. No, that's not going to happen. People do not want to observe. They want to ask questions. I know this is kind of a, the topic of the show is really generally spread here. No, it's not. It is simply, if they, if you say hi to somebody and they don't start divulging to you, don't, don't divulge yeah. to them. That is Period. That is perfect. That is Did perfect. you have a good day? Yes or no? Yeah. No, nah, I didn't have the greatest of days. Yeah. Because I woke up late, I burned my eggs. Yeah. People don't care. They don't. They do not care. Don't look for conversation. That's that's just go perfect. post it on Facebook go like blow, everybody else. Go blow it up on Facebook. Don't look for conversation. That has taught me the one thing <clears throat> that has taught me is exactly what you said. Nobody has ever walked up to us and asked how we are doing it's what's up hey man if i was or man on cowboy and lucky i would have shit <laughs> nobody gonna talk to us now well, we're not saying that that's fine just say hi <laughs> just say hi and move on that i get it i do get it i get the frustration now and everything that happens with social media you know yeah if you were in a wreck if you're pregnant, if you're whatever, it's up most there. people know yep. if they're close to you. Could agree with that. If they're not close enough to already know, they don't need to know. Totally agree with that. That's a good go topic, film, man. man. It's a good topic. We're going to go film today. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. I said I was going to wait, but I'm going to let okay. the cat out of the bag. Let it out. I'm training with Mr. Chris Goss. I did not. I'm, I am pretty excited about that. Elysian Fitness. Okay. For the simple fact that I can come over here, buddy. Right. And if I get tired, you're going to let me be tired. Training with Chris, if I get tired, he don't really allow me to be tired. You know what I mean? And I, it's easy for me to go, man, that's too heavy, Russell. That's too long. I, Them ropes are too heavy. I totally agree with that. Thank you, Mr. Chris Goss. So... I'm now training with Mr. Chris Goss. They have Elysian Fitness. And the new gym's right there on Washington. Right? Yeah. Just straight up from the backyard, which is awesome. Yes. So, I was going to wait until we got closer, before and after pictures and all that stuff. Right. To show how good a job he does. Right. And how good a job he can just help you by 
giving you a program to do, just like you do with with, yeah. with our friends Sheila and Gerald and she, uh, Stephanie and all that stuff. But Elysian Fitness is down on Washington. You know he has cryo as well, so after you get that little twins from working out, head on over to cryo. I, I have both I'm not, places. I'm not missing. I'm not missing. <clears throat> and he gave, he told me this yesterday. He went, man, a hundred bucks is well spent because I got people coming in. I got people asking. I'm telling you. So, thank you for that. And I have to say these words. If you are not a self-motivator and you don't like it, somebody can help you. Go yeah. see Chris. Go see Chris. Because Chris is exactly right. 30 years, I'm going to go, hey, man, come on, man. My, my shins hurt, man. And I'll be like, well, it's my homeboy. You know, that's all right. Thank God Chris will go. No, you keep going. Yeah. I want to say that. Now he ain't a whipping. He he ain't like he's ain't on the back of my horse whipping. You're not gonna let him. But down. for me, it's easier to not go. Nah, he gonna think I'm a wimp. Yeah, there you go. And I, I already don't know care that. if Russell. Cares. I already know that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if Russell knows. That's you know. That so anyway, we'll that see what awesome. the difference does. I'm gonna hit it hard till June, probably eighth. Dude, it's gonna be a big difference. Y'all do it till so, June tenth, the day of the wedding. Get a workout in. <laughs> yeah. It'll, it'll make a huge difference. Go over there. It's on Washington. Alicia Cryo, I mean, Alicia Fitness. And I'm telling you right now, man, it's it's going to extend your life with the Cryo as well. You want to extend the life of your computers? We got a new sponsor, Creds Computers. I'll talk more about him. We told him about your building, yep. told him about building computers back in the day. And we also got us an aluminum trailer and an aluminum ramp coming for the stage from uh, Southern Legacy Trailers who have become a sponsor. Yeah, and just right now, at the end of the show, uh, of course you saw our lunch special, but here's a picture of the shirts that Chris decided he'd order 7,200 extra to see if we can put everybody in a Red Sea shirt in Waco. You can inbox me or Chris, or just message us. They're $10 a pop. <laughs> Which and is about what we paid for them. Yes, just letting you know, he ordered enough to clothe every child in Probably every foreign city, so we got to get or rid at of least these. South Waco. That'll work. So man. let me know if you want one. Inbox us, message us, whatever. Probably got fifteen or so yesterday. That's, That's cool. All right, man. We're gonna get out of here, and until tomorrow, I will post that picture of my OG friend. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. I am Russ. This is Chris. Like and share. We got to go film. 